Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm not only 25 and this is the High Game Stage series. It's a 7 part series, we're on part 6 today. We start with the highest game stage possible, it's currently at 364. Which means zombies are really tough, there's radiated zombies and all the POIs. It also means we have an incredibly healthy loot stage, currently sat at 318. So we're getting great loot, as you can see from a tool belt, but we're having to fight very hard for it. We are going to take on the Day 7 Horde with 64 max alive, and that should be interesting. We also get to spend two skill points a day at the start of each day to make it not too easy, make it very challenging still. And I've been thinking about these points. I've wasted two into Boomstick, which is really annoying um, because I can't find a shotgun for Live Nominee, but you know, I'll have to deal with that. I'm going to put a point into Miner because I need to be able to craft a claw hammer, which takes 18 forged iron. We should have everything else, that's fine. Um, now the reason we need that is so we can make a workbench. The reason we need a workbench, which is even more forged iron, the reason we need a workbench is so we can make fence posts, which we've unlocked here, and a generator bank, which is just it's so much forged iron we need. So we could also probably do with a forge. Have we got that schematic? No, that's locked, that's annoying. But that was only one point I spent, right? So, with my next point, because I've only spent one, I could just get this one which gives me the forge recipe. Perfect, okay, that's good. Yeah, let's get some forged iron on the go. Stone, clay, leather, duct tape, short iron pipe. We even have an engine and a switch here, look, it's meant to be. I craft me at the forge. There it is. Just stick that there, it doesn't really matter. We're not really going for aesthetics with this base, are we? Yeah, just put that on. We'll come back to it later. Now, I'm thinking of heading down to Gentstown down here and uh, doing a bit more looting. Because I don't think Questing's where it's at for us at the moment. All right, let's run this place. We are pretty hungry. All right, so because we're likely going to use fence posts, we're going to need things like forged iron and electrical parts. Oh, that concrete mix is pretty huge. That's nice. Yes, hello there. You clown. Ooh. Ow! Don't you slap me. Oh, forged steel. Any forged steel we can get our hands on is very welcome. Nobody up here? Kind of surprise him. Looks like we go down here. And through here. We've already been here. What the hell? This is very confusing. Get a load of that guy. Pretty sure that's a separate... Yeah, that definitely is a separate POI. All right, maybe this isn't something I can really quest them. I'm looking for ender loot, so that's kind of a waste of time. I believe we've already done around these general parts. Let's see what's down this way. Did we do the dead rooster? I don't know that we did. Let's quickly do that. Come on. Ooh. Get the big stick. Well, that was fun. Let's just go straight down. You stupid chicken. Come here. Nope. Nearly got away. Oh, it did. It tanked the hit. We can't let chicken survive. You stupid chicken. Whoa. I guess you came from the roof, eh? These two guys swimming over. Urban combat. Craft cigars. All right, then. What we need is like a good tier four or even a really easily lootable tier five. That'd be good. You stupid chicken. Sit down, dog. Right, here's some easily lootable places. Have we been in here? Doesn't look like it. Why does it sound like loads of stuff's breaking? Get that weapons bag. Ooh, compound bow. Quality six. I might be in trouble here, you know. Uh, I'm just going to check this at this door. 
I don't know how many are there. Ah, oh, this collapsed out here, look. I had this glitch once before. You just get like a random selection of flooring just completely collapsing. And you could hear something. Run through. Okay, no, nope, radiated so far, that's good. So many cops though. There's a snake around here so we don't get hit while we're reloading. Oh, it's like a maze. It's kind of terrifying. Right, here they are. Come on, working stiff. Work with me, baby. I'm not selling anything. Well, I don't know. We'll take what we can, I guess. A ratchet, eh? Well, that's good, because we'll be using the uh, wrench to craft a workbench. Get out of here. That thing was feral. Oh, wow, a quality six auger again. That's pretty incredible, but not exactly what we needed. Uh, this one's actually better. Beauty. What was that? There's a dog over here and a cop. Ooh, loot bug. Another quality six fire axe. Mine's slightly better. Right, we're not going to use acid, believe it or not. Shouldn't need any more cloth. The rest of this stuff we can sell. I'm not going to use one of them. Just trying to make sure we have some room here. Ooh, first aid bandage. Oh, they all woke up. Slimes. Let's get into this. Also, let's double heal. What am I doing using this? Hello, brain. What we got? Ergonomic, schematic, and a few bits. Quite a lot of ammo. Well, that's nice. Oh, there's normally a zombie over here. Oh yeah, 44 gun as well, that'd be nice. Yes, Tom Clark, can I help you? Uh-oh. I see more than my fair share of this zombie, I think. He's so tanky. Very lucky head pop there. Where did you come from now? That trap schematic. Interesting. Okay, we are out of space. Let's go and see if we can sell some things to old Jenny girl up here. Okay, we need this wrench. Don't sell that. Well, we have the repair kit to spare. Let's repair these things. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. 15 grand right here. What if I've duct the tape? I'm buying it. Chicken, chicken, yucca, chili. Have we done this place? I don't recall doing it. Thank you for not being a white. There's a zombie outside. That's going to get annoying. Right, what have we got? Cop and a lumberjack again. Lumberjacks crawling for no reason. I hate it when they do that. Like, yeah, you, if you're in a space that requires crawling, fair enough, do it. If you must. What's this? Yeah, I mean, great. Give me all the shotgun books. It'd be lovely if you gave me a shotgun now. What have we in here? Oh, there you are. Absolutely nothing going on in there. Right, we should probably head back. We can drop off some of this stuff. Just trying to see what's behind this 14k HP door. Hey, text tape in there. Wow. Learn an elixir. Actually, pull it back. It's useless to me. Can't earn any XP in this series. No, again, it seems like one that's not really a quest as such. Over here, Kampuchi. 
Ooh, hello, supplies. What are you doing? Get away from my base. Oh, look at all this beautiful shotgun ammo we could use if we just had a shotgun. What a shame that is. Buy all the food we can. I'm going to buy that little bit of concrete mix. And we're going to see if you've got a job. Tier 3 fetch. Okay. Alright, give me all the forged iron you can. We'll get more iron pumping into there. Let's go and do this quest quickly. Hit it. Right, now we've cleared out down here. We should be able to wrench this without being too disturbed. Fetch item is up, apparently. Hey! Because I've got 200 hit points and been so careless. Like that. Never fight on stairs like that. It's just asking to be hit. Wow, that was just terrible play. That dog looks like it's got no back legs. Hey! No more hits, please. All power attacks to the head for that guy. Wow. Right, come on. Hit that landmine. Whoever's coming through, come through. All right. We're in. Should probably get that fetch item before I forget. Bladed weapons do more damage at night, and three contact grenades, they're pretty handy. If we had the first aid bandage schematic, we could make so many first aid bandages. Right, lots of ammo. Wow, battery bank schematic. Two, oh wow, that's terrible. That's like some of the worst loot I've seen so far in this run. But I mean, it's good quality, but just not what I need in the slightest. Game's definitely out to troll me right now. I'll take the first aid kits. They're going to be more useful to me than anything right now. All these pointless things. Can we make a workbench? No, claw hammer first. Leather and duct tape. Craft. And then workbench. I'm just missing one wrench, which I've got here. Quality six wrench for a workbench. Crazy. All I've got though. 20 mechanical parts. Might not have that. Oh, I have. It's just the claw hammer, then we can craft the workbench. Uh, cool. Right, there it is. Recipes, workbench, craft it. Workbench. Just stick it there. A generator, forged diamond, mechanical parts, electrical parts. Uh oh, wandering hard. Coming right for me. Okay, it's not too bad. The slow ones and the fast ones kind of separated. Right, generator bank. One of them. Fence posts. We can make 11. We only need two, really. Guess I'll make a spare. And that's all I need. They won't be long. We can come back for that stuff. Do we need to take this over? Let's head over to our horde base location, which is marked on the map over here. Right, this is the area I've chosen to take the horde on in. Just these little trailer parks over here. Now, if this one on its own over here, if this is a thousand, that's... Damn it, that one's only a thousand HP. Thousand. A thousand. Where was the one that I found with ten thousand? This one. Okay, so these middle blocks here are ten thousand. Yes, okay. So it has to be this one. Yeah, I think this is long enough for what we need. Do need to get rid of this. Go away! I'm trying to build. Very populated area. I'm just trying to put this in place. That's good. Right, so we haven't got many concrete blocks. So we're going to have to use some cobble here. One, two, three, four, five... We're going to have to use it in conjunction with some concrete. One, two, three, four, five. 
So we're using some of those blocks there. Right, so out here, there's a lot of stuff we still need to get rid of. Right, we've pretty much stripped out in here. Let's put a couple of proper concrete blocks there. I think this is more or less ready. A bit lower than it would normally be, but you know, it's a one-off hoard. We need to put fence posts in. Um, the, yes, more or less ready, more or less ready. Let's head back to the base because that's where our uh, generator and stuff is. And we'll leave the episode right there. So thank you so much for joining me. Really hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please do let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you'd like to see more content on the channel, why not subscribe today? Special thanks to all the members of Team 25 who support me on Patreon and via channel memberships here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Have a good one. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.